there are some fascinating similarities between ancient Peruvian and uh, Chinese civilizations. For example, both the Inca culture in Peru and uh, ancient China's Shu state culture had this, you know, veneration for the song and uh, gold. I, I mean, can you share some of your thoughts on these parallels and uh, uh, what they might reveal about the broader patterns of human civilization, Mr. Luo? What is your take on this? Yeah, so uh, amazingly, uh, we, we just talked about the Chifa and Arroz uh, uh, Chaofa, but that's more recent. That, that's until after the 1800s. Amazingly, if we look at the, uh, more, much, much more uh, years ago, that these two countries still share a, a lot of uh, uh, similarity. I would say they, they all have uh, civilization lines that are parallel. Yeah, so I, I, I'm from Sichuan. I was born and raised in Sichuan. So, and, and the Inca exhibit uh, is uh, this year is in Chengdu. And, and you know, in Chengdu, we have this uh, San Xindui Museum and also the Jingsha Museum. And uh, if you, I, I, I can fully understand why the Peru, uh, the Inca exhibit attracts so many Chinese public to go there. Because if you look at the elements of the song, the elements of the bird, uh, the element of uh, making precious gold to make the uh, the handcrafts and, and it's in very detail and also some of the annotations of the early uh, characters and this share so much in common and also share some values that are very similar to each other like like the the I would say the song is probably like universal but the, the bird is not universal Although geographically we're distant, yeah. but our human nature yes. that's building our genes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For example, I believe uh, in Jingsha they have this golden bird. Yes. Right. We the Incas used to worship the condor, which is a bird of prey, and they used to think that the condor was a representation of freedom and ascension to the sun, the, the Inti, what we called our like our maximum god. And, you know, besides gold and birds, we also have many things in common, such as, for example, uh, water. The Incas were master engineers when it came to aqueducts. Mm. And the same thing with the Chinese. Du Yes, yeah. exactly. About how you used to, yeah. like, control the, the flow of the river to prevent floods, to guarantee that there would always be an irrigation system for agriculture. Yes. The Incas had the same. In fact, uh, the many terraces that you can find nowadays in Machu Picchu yeah. are actually a heritage from the Incas. There's in Peru on the Andean zone, there's uh, the women, their traditional clothes mm -hmm. are really, really like to a, to a ethnic here in China, in the south, I guess. Yunnan. Yeah, Yunnan. that one, that one, yeah. Yeah, it's really similar. Yeah, it's, really similar. It's, like, it's like, wow, mm -hmm. they, they are really, really far, far away from each other, but they are like, they, they are similarities mm -hmm. in, a, in a lot of in, in their clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also part of human nature to live a colorful life. Maybe that, maybe that can explain mm -hmm. how it happens.